All right, team, today's the day we're gonna run this beast and see what it looks like on a scope. Just to kind of show you what we got going on here. We're taking the uh, output of this thing. We've made a big old cable here. Uh, hot from one plug is going to the black. Hot from the other plug is going to the red. Uh, the, the neutral and ground on both plugs are going to the green and uh, white lead here. This is a big old uh, 6-4 cable um, and just to kind of trace it out for you uh, we're taking the output of our generator so we can hear ourselves think and we're coming in here into this workroom and we come wandering up here and back down and we just split out the cable and we can connect up to it but what we're going to do first just to kind of show you uh, the you know the, the waveform and everything we're going to show you how we're how we're reading that of course we've got a, got a scope here two channels um, channel one is coming out here and going to this this wonderful device which is a 5000 to 1 um, mat, mat matching tran transformer uh, so and, and it's made for very high voltage we're, we're using that because we're going to use it when reading the pole pigs basically uh, if you put a high voltage on the top here and of course ground on on the bottom you can directly scope it and let's just say you've got 5,000 volts up here on the top you have one volt going to your scope so you don't burn it out but you can read a high voltage and you can look at waveforms and all that kind of stuff so we've introducing this just to bring it into the equation to show you that we have one and it works uh, basically what we're going to be doing we're going to uh, just for this first test we're going to take the 120 coming out of the wall uh, we're, t we're taking one side of it the neutral side of course going going to the bottom down here and the other side is uh, lo lo looping around going through this little red wire up here to the top and so that's reading voltage and at the same time we're taking the out output Going, going down here to the hot side of this, this plug, taking the other side of this plug, coming up here through this very small resistance, which is made for reading current. And, and then we're going from there back to, again, the, the ground ground here. And, and of course, we have uh, another scope probe hooked up here and going over here to channel two. So on the scope, channel one, We'll look at voltage. Channel two. We'll look at current. Um, and, and for our first test, it's going to be coming out of the wall, and ending up going into this hundred watt light bulb. So, um, let me plug this into the wall here first. Oh, light came on. And look, looky there on our wonderful scope here. We have some, some voltage and current waveforms, and you can see, oops, pick up the camera here, if we adjusted the scope, the top waveform, which is voltage, and the bottom waveform, which is current, uh, you know, if we put them both here in the middle so you can see them, they're, they're right in phase with each other. Uh, the, it's you know a perfect sine sine wave as you can see the top waveform the voltage is distorted a little bit and and that is because of this wonderful 5000 to 1 uh, matching thing it's basically just a big resistor network but it does alter the waveform some so um that's what 
60 cycles from the wall looks like a nice nice current and voltage uh, and like you can see they, they are in phase with each other now of course we're gonna unplug the light from the wall well, come on. and we're gonna hook up with a couple alligator clips here the light um, to a couple of the wires from from the generator and of course we're going to go start the generator um, so that shouldn't be a big problem come come wandering back out here fortunately most of the snow has uh, melted around here, so that's that's why I'm outside today, able to do this. Just have a little bit of water left. Anyway, let's give this thing a pull. Oops. Shut that door so we can hear ourselves think. And our lights on. And here actually was the big surprise. Looky there. Um, it's not an actual wonderful sinusoidal wave. In fact, it's more of a square wave. Uh, you can see it's actually turning on and off. Uh, the voltage and current are still in phase with each other, um, but it has, although it's not a perfect square wave, it sort of has a squarish um, demeanor to it, if you want to call it that. So, the McCulloch generator sort of puts out a modified square wave. Um, very interesting very interesting uh, so, so of course we're gonna post this wonderful information and uh, I'm sure everyone on the forum is going to be talking about this um, it's not a real sharp square wave but that's understandable it has you know round, round, rounded edges to it uh, but like I said the, cur the current and voltage are in phase with each other but they, um, they're sort of an on-off type thing. That's kind of a surprise to me. Uh, and anyway, I uh, just thought we'd uh, post this. And I'm sure comments will be forthcoming.